In her wonderful book, Fruitfulness, From Barren to Blessed, Natalina Sicilia reminded me that if you open your Bible right to the middle, Psalm 118, verse 8, it is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. Mm -hmm. Natalina, with a, a devastating diagnosis of infertility, um, you still had to do the natural. Yes, God I does did. the supernatural, yes, you does. say. Yes, he does. And he sure did. Yes. Yes. What happened to a young couple hoping for twins? You, you always desired to have I twins. I always wanted to have twins, and I really don't even know where that desire came from, but I always wanted to have twins. Funny story is that when we started believing God and trusting God for children, when I was told I was infertile, I turned to my husband and I said, now you're going to believe with me for twins. And he was a little reluctant. He thought one child at a time, you know. <laughs> and I said, listen, if you don't believe with me for twins, I will believe for triplets. And he goes, okay, twins oh, it okay, is. We're and good. so we came into agreement for the twins. and. Uh, and and when I got pregnant after much trial and much heartache, really, because every month that goes by and you're told it didn't work or it's not happening, you're not pregnant, there's a, a real longing in a woman's heart to be a parent. I think in a man's heart as well. But I, you know, speaking from a woman's perspective, you know, in our heart, there's this desire to be a parent. And so for me, it was very, very deep. And I wanted these twins. And so I remember when I was going through the treatment, I would speak to my, like, speaking to your body is essential. You your know, words are oh, important. powerful. So every time I went for my treatment, I would speak to my ovaries and I would speak to them and say, now you're going to produce a follicle and that follicle is maturing. So every day, every day, and I would speak to both of my ovaries, wanting one on each. Well, lo and behold, they tell me that there's two that are growing and developing. And so when I finally got the a hormone injection in order for them to be released, uh, because that's, it goes along with the process. OPC, yeah. Um, all of a sudden, this is something else I believe God did for me, you know, and I've only seen, heard one other woman say she experienced the same thing, but I actually felt the babies that were fertilized yeah. implant Amazing. in my body. When I went for the ultrasound, the doctor says, oh, we saw one, you know, well, you're pregnant, great, blah, blah. And I said, well, can you see if there's another one? And I, I told him where to go in my body and he went there and he says there's another one and that's a whole other story but it, it's just amazing what god can do it is such a story and your family today is yes, a beautiful family how many we have five children <laughs> uh four are biological and one is an adopted child he's in yes. china he lives in china he's a amazing that's another story and, an and amazing you'll all be man. married and you'll have all your sons-in-law yes. by yes january? by january yes my son still is available <laughs> <laughs> there's a little plug there by a mom. Little plug. You know, there's there are so many tools here to guard against things like discouragement. Oh, I mean, absolutely. we all have disappointments, but discouragement is of the enemy. Oh, it's um, it's a major battle. Real major battle. battle. Major battle. And that's in everything. You know, not just about infertility no. or sickness or disease, but even a job, uh, whatever you, you know, students with exams. I remember believing God and trying not to get discouraged about my exams in university. Uh, discouragement is that uh, it's a trap really, that if the, the enemy can get you to bite into that trap, he's got you hooked. Got it's you. like that fish, you know, once he's hooked, he's hooked. And it, now that, a fish could get away from the hook, but it takes a lot of work, doesn't it? And there's some injury sometimes that goes along with it. And so you have to be very, very careful. Natalina, we would be wasting a ministerial opportunity if we didn't invite you to pray for the person, because faith gets ignited. Yes, it Lots does. of people become pregnant just by yes. hearing yes. your story yes. and believing that God Absolutely. is able. Would you just yes. talk to that viewer and pray? I just want to let you know, if you don't already know, that Jesus loves you and that everything that he suffered on the cross was for you, not only so that you can get to heaven, that's a must, but also for every part of our lives, whether it be physical, emotional, uh, financial, Jesus purchased that. It is the God kind of life in fullness and in abundance. And so if you're sitting there and you're listening to the story and you're really crying, as I'm telling the story, because you've been told you're infertile, I want you to know that there's hope. Whether you're a man or a woman struggling with this diagnosis, there is hope. And Jesus is the healer. The Bible tells us that not only was he the healer, he is the healer. By his stripes, we are healed. So spiritually, you're healed. 
You're, it's already done, an accomplished work of God. What you have to do now is just grab onto it, ask God to do it for you and believe that he did. Jesus said, if you speak to that mountain and you believe that you receive when you pray, then you shall have it. The standing is the part that I talk about in the book. And that is when the enemy comes against you, trying to tell you that God's word doesn't work, but it does. So I want to pray for you today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I know that you love each and every one of us individually. You know the hairs on our head. And so Father, I pray for these people that are listening, this one individual, in my heart, I hear Anna, God loves you. And I just want you to know that the answer is here and God is willing and able to restore your physical body to what it should be. Father, I pray for each individual that will just grab onto your word today. That Father God, you heal them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Let your word have a work in them, Father, and let the peace of God that only comes from you rule in their lives and take a hold of their heart so that they can see the victory. For you said in your word that I know the plans I have for you, plans for good and victory. And we thank you, Father, for it in Jesus' name. Amen. I am grateful that God always makes it possible for Christ to lead us to victory. Yes. Our prayer lines are available. Natalina, thank you. Thank you for having me.